what a great day it is. I got another delivery of some beautiful free wood chips. That's right, free. If you're not yet adding wood chips into your garden and they're available, you don't know what you're missing, this has got to be the number one thing that you can do to create abundance, water less, have nice clean pathways, suppress weeds. Wood chips are where it's at. It brings in the worms, it brings in that beneficial fungi, which is gonna just help to break down the soil and create humus, lovely soil. It's as easy as getting up on Craigslist, searching out free wood chips and giving them a call. Many, many areas offer the free wood chips, especially urban, suburban areas. They do a lot of tree trimming. The tree service companies have to go pay if they need to go drop off the wood chips at the green waste facility. So it's of mutual benefit to both them and us as gardeners because they can usually save time. They don't have to drive as far to go dump them. They save the money and we get that resource. Now, if you live further out into the sticks, it may not be as easy to obtain some wood chips or you may have to actually fork over a little bit of dough for it. It's still worth it. If you compare what it costs to just get a little 10 pound sack at your big box store versus getting you know, 10 yards, 15, 25 yards of these wood chips, uh, it's really pennies on the dollar. But I do attribute all of the loads of wood chips to helping me create abundance in my backyard food forest. So I wanted to throw this out there just to remind you guys, it's a little bit of work, but that sweat that you put in, it gives you massive returns. It's a huge investment to move these wood chips back into your garden and start mulching the ground. And don't expect perfect uniform chips like you would get in the sacks at the big box store. That's not what we're looking for anyway. You're gonna get all sorts of different sized chips. There's gonna be sticks in there, smaller particulate, and they all have great uses in the garden. The smaller particulate breaks down into soil in a matter of no time. We like to pull out the smaller sticks and use it for our rocket stove. So we just set those aside in buckets, let it dry out. It makes great kindling for the rocket stove. The most uniform chips I like to spread out in the pathways and everything else gets mulched around the plants. So that's it for now, everybody. Just wanted to send out this reminder. If you're in an area where the season is already allowing you to start to get out into the garden and get some work done, wood chips should be at the top of the list. And if you're still a month or two out before the snow starts to melt and things start to clear up, well, you still got something you can put at the top of your list. So with that, I want to thank everybody for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.